it's a fact of modern life that some wars get more attention than others. And Russia's invasion of Ukraine has captured the public's attention in the West in a way that other recent wars, like those in Yemen or Ethiopia, simply haven't. The reason is obvious, says Christopher Blattman, an economist at the University of Chicago and the author of Why We Fight, The Roots of W. This is more than a regional conflict. It's a potential global conflagration. Superpowers are taking sides. There are fears that it could lead to nuclear escalation. But what about other wars going on right now? In the Tigray region of Ethiopia, for example, a conflict that started in 2020 has led to thousands of casualties and displaced an estimated 2 million people. That crisis has largely been ignored by the world, says Magdalena Braha, a writer in London of Tigrayan heritage. She has many family members in that region of Ethiopia. Abraha does not object to the massive and ongoing media blitz in Ukraine. My first reaction was, fantastic, she says. Human suffering of that nature should be covered hugely and on a global scale. In the same breath, she adds, it would be good to have this kind of attention to all crises relating to war, famine and natural disasters in the world. Some observers point to other reasons for the Western world's eye. Generally speaking, it seems reasonable for any society to care more about conflicts that are geographically closer, share a social identity, which could include race and religion, share a language or share an imperial or colonial history," Blattman wrote in an email to NPR. Jacqueline Kamagiza, a journalist and podcaster based in Kampala, Uganda, says a recent BBC News clip of an interview with former Ukrainian official David Sakverlids makes that point in stark, and offensive, terms. He described those affected by the Ukraine war as European people with blue eyes and blonde hair being killed, children being killed every day. His statement was widely condemned by journalists and activists as racist. Kamigiza, who posted a viral Twitter thread criticizing how Western media organizations have covered Ukraine, is one of the critics. She finds Sak Verlidze's sentiment highly problematic. His comment, she says, signals to the audience that this was the human being worth protecting, not the lives of people of color lower in the hierarchy created by the world's wide supremacist, capitalistic system. If we are to give sympathy, let's give it to everyone who is a victim of war rat. 